about the middle of his back. So right here, he basically will hip out. Okay, also, what we can also switch off, we've got right here, suppose we have a guy who's really good, he knows what he's doing, he's not letting us control this underhook, he's not letting us get to this position, and some people are that good, they won't let you get it. So then what you, if he's closing down, I'm trying to get in here, and at the same time, we're right here, we're not where he can, we're basically, if we're fighting for ties, it's going to be hard for him to punch. He might come out and punch every once in a while, and I might come out and punch every while, but I'm basically trying to get to a position where I can control the tie, where I can move him around to where I want him to be. And get get my takedowns where it is I want to do to him. So another thing I can do, if I can't get in here, I'm gonna attack inside here. I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna go come around here to here. And I get right here because what, what's gonna happen here, if I'm right here, he's gonna automatically top here. Guys always do. I got the inside tie. From right here, I can punch. From right here, I can also go to other different things. But I want to control the tie in here. I want to control it. We're in here, we're right in here like this, moving around. Just like this. I'm right here. From right here, if I want to do something else, from right here, I have to basically spin him, move him, force him to step get, so I can do something. Oh, okay, one more time. I'm going to uh, show more details on this. I'm tying it from right here. And all we're doing, we're controlling from inside. I'm just grabbing up on his arm right in here. Grabbing above this muscle, right here, the smaller part of the, of the arm right here. And this is where we want to control from. Okay? And from right here, we just, and, and, and here too, I don't want to be here bent over because he's coming knees and things like that. I'm, I'm still straight up right here. I'm not worried about him doing double legs on me from this right here because I got him right here. I got him on his arm right here with my, uh, with my, uh, with my thumb. Okay? So right in here. Right here. From right here, I can drop, do different things. I can drop down to the double leg. I can right here. If I'm still here too also, I can go over to the, to the single leg. Okay? So we'll do that. From right here, if I want, single leg isn't bending over. It's right here. It's a step. I step to here. And I gotta do it fast. One here, I'm pushing, he pushes back, pushes back, step. He's pushing. I just want to step and I go to here. I gotta go to here. Get right here. And I have it. And I have the single leg. Okay? The same position. Now that was the same single leg we did before. Only thing is, I'm not, I don't have the uh, I don't have the underhook. So I have to do more than just more than just bend over and take it. I have to step. Okay? Or I have to make him step by pulling him. Now all I do with that is if he's right here, all I'm gonna do is dance around. Right here, and make him step. Once he steps, I drop down and take a single leg again. And the way I make him step, the thing I want to do is, I want to force him to have to face me. Because he's facing right now, he's fine. So I'm not going to stay in this position for a long time or for extra, extra uh, long period of time. All I want to do is I dance to here. See, now he's not facing. He's like out of position. Because right now, he's like, he's, I'm going to just do this one. We'll go we'll attack him right here, but probably right here. So what he's going to do is he's going to step. So when I go right here, he steps, okay? So when he steps, that's when I want to pull him. I'm going to pull this arm, this side, not this side. So I'm right here. I go to right here. He steps. Let's pull him. Look what he did. He just gives me the leg. Because he's stepping. The same time he steps, I pull him. Okay? So I'm right here. All I'm doing is I'm going to dance around to Not straight, but kind of in a little slight circle here. So here, when he steps... Pull and right back down the single leg again, right on my wrist and pinching. Okay? So I'm doing right here. One more time. I'm going to dance, not like this. I'm going to dance here. Because right now, he's not facing me. Look where he is. Look, watch his position from here. If I want this leg right here, I'm going to step up a little bit. All I'm going to do is a step. I'm going to dance. I'm going to go here. Not where he is. Now, he's in bad position right here because I can just go straight right here for, for double leg on his bottom, but I'm not. He, but he feels that. So he's going to step to catch up with me. One more time. I'm going to do it real slow this time. I do like a little dance step. It's one, two. He steps that pull. This way. Right here. With that uh, with pull. One, two. And he steps. And he's got to step to catch up with me. Okay? Okay, notice what I do from this position. Also, when I, when, I, when I do my little step and I pull, I change levels at the same time. So right here, I'm going to do it real slowly. He's going to stay here until I give him a signal. I give him a signal. He's going to make the step so you can better see it. So I'm right here, and all I'm going to do is I do my little dance step to here. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to right here. But when I'm right here, 
when I pull, the same time that I pull, because he's going to step. When I give him a signal, he's going to step. And when he steps, I'm going to pull and I'm going to change levels. So I'm right close to the knee. And I'm not going to stay down there. A lot of people say, well, if you stay down, if you change levels like that, won't he knee you in the face? No, I'm not staying down there for any amount of time. I'm down there for less than a split second. So right here. I'm going to do it fast once and then I'll do it slow, okay? He doesn't have time to knee. He doesn't have the time to knee. I'm sure from the other angle. I'm right here. And what I'm going to do is take a little step. He step. And I catch it. He doesn't have time to knee or do anything. So now we'll do it back in this angle and I'll do it slow. I'm right here. Watch how I'm pulling this. All I'm doing is pulling this. All I want, all I'm trying to create a situation. What I'm trying to create is his leg, his foot right here, so that I can just change levels and pick it up with my head up. I don't want to bend over for it. I don't want to have it way over there. If I go to bend over here, he's going to knee me. He's going to knee me. A lot of guys do this. A lot of guys do it incorrectly. A lot of guys get hurt. If you saw the fight, uh, Gracie and Dan Henderson, when Henderson, Gracie went to shoot a double leg like this, couldn't see, and all he did was he ran into Henderson's leg. That about knocked him out. Henderson hit, hit him one time. The fight was over. That's why we're not bending over for double legs. You can't see. Whenever you're fighting, whenever you're wrestling, it's important that everything you do, every motion, is so you can see them at. If I shoot like this, if I'm just going like this, he can move. And I don't know where he went. I, I'm, I'm looking down. So that's why I'm changing levels with my legs this way. And grab. So I have to force some positions where I have to use, I have to use maneuvering and my head and thinking to put him in positions where I don't have to do this. So that's why I start doing this move right here. Watch his stance here, like this. And when he goes, he's going to step. He's got to face me again. He steps, then I pull. Just like this. Now look where I am. I just take it to here. I like when I did it fast. You saw, he doesn't have time to kick me or knee me in the head or do anything. Okay, one more time, fast. Right here. Okay. Okay, from the same position, we can also go to a double leg. And this one, this move was made famous by a lot of the Japanese uh, wrestlers. But a lot of guys are using it, it in the uh, octagon also. And all we're doing right here, and from this, I just changed my grip. Maybe just on this side. What I do is I'll go here because I know what I'm doing. So right before I do it, I go here. Because all I want to do is I'm going to pull him around in a circle. So I'm right here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, and this time also, just so I can be closer to him, I don't want to keep my arms extended. I want to bend him just a little bit. And he doesn't know what I'm doing. So I'm right here. I'll come in just a little bit closer. I'll come here. And all I'm going to do is just kind of, just, I'm just going to dance around in a circle just like I did before. But this time I'm going to stop and do a double leg. So I'm right here. All I'm going to do is right here. I'm going to dance up here. When he steps and plants, I'm going here. Like this, and just pull the double leg, okay? So I'm doing A lot of times I'll do like a real quick fast step in this too. I'm going to do a real quick step and turn, stop, and do a double leg. So I'm right here, going, going. That's all I'm doing. And right here, it's just like before, trying to avoid the guard. Okay, and on this move, notice what I'm doing. All I'm doing is like once I dance around in a circle, all I want to do is cause him to do this. If he does this, I have time to do a double leg. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting him kind of with the top of my head, but more like right here. Because like I said before, I want to see everything that's happening here. I want to see everything he's bringing, he's coming with knees or whatever. Okay, so I'm right here. When I dance, let's move, move to right here so I can see if you can shot. So I'm right here. And all I want to do is move to here. Pull him. Right here, pull him right here, right here. All I want to do, and my arms are already in. So I'm not like this, I'm not way far away from him. And my arms in, right here. All I do is I drop right here, cut right here again, and go up. Like this. Right here, just like this. Boom, right and stop. Pulling the legs. Right here. And then come on top. Okay? Now I'll show from another angle. Okay? I'm right here. Okay, I'm going to dance. And just go straight down to it. But what let me do it slow this time so you can really kind of kind of take note of what I'm doing. The big thing is to get him to stop. I'm right here. That's all I'm doing. Dance around. Pull him. Because if you pull him, he stops. He's off balance. Then you drop. Right here. Right here. And right here, I just pull. Okay. And 
important thing with this is make sure your head is hitting right here. I'm not really going like this much as I'm going right here. And I'm not from right here. The thing that I'm doing is I'm pulling up like this. I'm not going like that. Okay? From right here, once I spin around, right here, slowly I'm going right here to here. From here, I'm just going straight up. Like that. I'm not just doing this. I'm not picking up, I'm just pulling. Okay, now we're going to show 